Uh, you guessed it. It's Jay Poor here, Little Face Brewing. <clears throat> that, my friends, this is my Dwarf Tine clone. Try hopping. All green version, of course. Not, of course, I don't really mean anything by that. But I'm just a cheap ass. <laughs> All green Bruins, way cheaper than extract, and I'm a cheap ass. So, it's an all green version. And I hope it, le it lives up to the great Dwarf and Tyne Ale. I mean, I'm, I really am hoping. Wow, it smells fantastic. That much I will tell you. It smells really good. Um, let me show you something else here. The little jar here I'm about to show you next to it is the. Uh, yeast cake from this. I've made about four different beers off of this right now. It's a pretty good uh, this little bit right here, I'm hoping that you can see this that is actually the good viable yeast right there that lighter colored area. This down here is is the settling out proteins and dead yeast and it's all the heavy stuff. So what's going to happen is I'm going to let this sit here for like an hour or so, whatever. And this will settle the whole way down. And I'll have this layer right here of, of this good viable yeast. And that's what I'll use over. I'll pour that off. And that's what I'll use over again for another beer. So that's how I, that's how I go about doing it. I do have, I'm pretty sure I have some videos on yeast washing. You can check them out on my, on my channel there. I'm sure there's stuff on there. Um, this Dorfentine really smelled fantastic. It really smelled strong as far as like uh, malty strong. So I'm hoping it's going to be okay. It looks good. Color is I'm pretty much dead on from from what you know. Uh, Dorf and I, Dorf 68. In case you didn't know. Um, we did a beer trade back a couple months ago and whatnot, um, and I'm trying to go off of memory as to what you know his looked like and, and whatnot. And I think I pretty much got the color down, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna put this over in the uh, in the uh, secondary area where I'll cover it with a blanket and and everything, kind of maintain the you know I like to keep them right around between 65 and 70 degrees can you keep them kind of warm or whatever in that brew temperature so uh, that's where we're at so hopefully it turns out there you are SJ Poor Little Face Brewing enjoy the fruits of your label <laughs> enjoy the fruits of your labor folks and brew beer later